Good evening, Go Fight Pal fans. This is Clint, and welcome to card number four of my Mid Atlantis sector. Uh, we're fresh off of the Rumble Pack release. A lot of people have gotten them in, uh, myself included, and figured it was time to to keep the story going here in the Mid Atlantis sector. We're going to open up the card with Dusty Plummer and Remington XT. They're coming out to congratulate the Matt Men who won the U.S. Duos tournament. Uh, to, to win those titles, and uh, they just wanted to come out and congratulate them. Dusty Plummer and Remington XT, of course, they were in the finals against the Mad Men. Uh, they're hoping to get a, a title shot in the future since they did make it to the to the finals, but uh, they just came out there to give their congratulations. But the first match on the card is... Two wrestlers who haven't been seen since card number one, Robbie Singh and Harley Davis. Now this is an updated Harley Davis, the guy, the Rumble Pack Harley. Uh, so I'm excited to see how well he does or how he does in the following match. So as always, the left wrestler is red and the right wrestler is blue. So we will roll, fast forward. We got a six and a three. A six is Robbie Shing's fast forward. So uh, Harley Davis's pop is three. And he gets a one, so we're good there. Robbie Shing takes the offense with Sands of Time. And that is dodged by Harley Davis. We got a smooth operator from Robbie Shing. And that is reversed by Davis into a race rack. And that is Robbie Shing's pop. He has to avoid a two, gets a three. So Harley Davis still on offense with a high knee ram. And that is blocked by Robbie Shing. Another race rack. And that is uh, pop, so Robbie Shing needs to avoid a two, gets a five. Davis driver. And that is dodged. We got a six, a southpaw strike. And that is a hit. Or a low, no, a low blow on Emons. Okay. It's just a hit. Okay, Harley Davis with a rumble uh, race rack. And that's Robbie Shing reversing it into simply ravishing. We got a three, a five, and a three. Once per fight, roll a D6. One through four, play normal. Five through six, pile driver. So we're just going to go ahead and use it since it's a kind of a one-on-one -on -one here. So we play normal. All right. So we've got a three and a five that Harley Davis needs to avoid. He gets a four, so he's good. Robbie Shing with smooth operator. And that is dodged. We got simply ravishing again. Three and a, f yeah, the three and a five. Gets a four, so. Harley Davis is still in it. <laughs> Another Simply Ravishing. Got a six. Still in it. Y'all, I don't know. Another rav Simply Ravishing. And a three. Harley Davis needs a two. And he gets a five. There you have it, folks. Uh, after three Simply Ravishings, Robbie Shing gets the win. Write this down. Okay. Well, that wasn't how, how I really wanted to see it. I'm a little partial to Harley Davis myself, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, next we have Mr. Grappling. And Mr. Grappling 2, the newly crowned U.S. duos, Matt Men. Uh, 
they're coming out to uh, just to celebrate their their recent title win and announce that they will only be defending their championship under scientific rules. Uh, they are old school and they they want to bring some honor to the title while they have it. Uh, and they want to thank Dusty Plummer and Remington XT for their kind words and announce Mr. Grappling is going to announce that the main event tonight will feature Remington XT taking on Sergeant Major Payne's uh, tag team partner, Admiral Amstel. And if you remember, um, Sergeant Major Payne does have a title shot at the next, or at the inaugural uh, pay-per-view against Dusty Plummer, since Sergeant Major Payne was the uh, finalist and, and fell to Dusty Plummer. He, he was able to get a title shot uh, that Doc Fletcher uh, secured for him. So, uh, nice little update from Mr. Grappling. Next, we've got a special attraction match. We've got uh, a Mid-Atlantis competitor, Crimson Mask, taking on El Halcón from the Spice Islands. Um, they're just promoting their, their sector, and of course, Puma Jr., made an appearance at the last card, uh, announcing <clears throat> how the rules were going to be for the Junior Heavyweight uh, Championship. Uh, first, uh, whenever a, a competitor gets five wins, he'll get a title shot against Puma, uh, Puma Junior. So, we've got Crimson Mask versus El Halcon. Same thing, Crimson Mask is red, El Halcon is blue. We've got a four and a three. That is El Halcon's fast forward, so Crimson Mask needs to avoid a two. He gets a four. So, El Halcon on the offense with a Tope Con Hilo. And that is blocked by Crimson Mask. Comes back with a back suplex. That is dodged. Another Tope Comb Hilo. And that is dodged. We've got a El Halcon Punch. And we've got a one and a two. Crimson Mask gets a three, so he's still in it. Got a Rumble rating, plus three, plus two. And it looks like Crimson Mask will take the offense. And he gets a Tompkins driver. I'll re-roll that. He gets a Tompkins driver, and that's blocked by El Halcon. And we've got an El Prado sleeper. It'll be a three or a six that El Halcon needs to avoid. He gets a one. Crimson mask with a crimson salt. And that is blocked. Crimson mask with a headbutt. Okay, roll a d6. Even, loaded mask headbutt. Add one to pop. And it's an odd, so it's just a regular headbutt. And that is a hit. Crimson mask with a hangman neckbreaker. And that is reversed by El Halcon into a spinning heel kick. Crimson mask dodges it. And El Halcon gets a rumble rating. So once again, we've got plus three, plus two. And Crimson Mask takes the offense. And he gets a rumble rating. That is my dog in the background walking. And uh, let's see, it looks like El Halcon will take the offense. And he gets an El Halcon punch. We got a one or a two. Gets a three. El Halcon still on offense with a rumble rating. Plus three, plus two. Looks like Crimson Mass takes the offense with an El Prado sleeper. So we've got a three or a six. We get a one. We got a Crimson Salt. And that is reversed by El Halcon into a back suplex. We got a back suplex that is blocked into a tope con hilo 
And that is a hit. Got another Topek on Hilo. And that's a pop. So, got to avoid a two for Crimson Mask. He gets a four. Still in it. And a Rumble rating. Plus three, plus two. Got a one here. Al Halcon is still on the offense with another Rumble rating. And Crimson Mass takes the offense with a Crimson Salt. And that is reversed by El Halcon into a back suplex. Got a back suplex that is reversed by a Crimson Mask. We've got a four that's an El Prado sleeper, a three or a six. He gets a four, so he's still in it. Tompkins driver. And that is a pop, so El Halcon needs to avoid a six, and he gets a six. Looks like he got, he has to get a four, and he gets a five. So, is that a Tompkins driver? Crimson Mask wins via Tompkins driver. I have to go back and review the, the video. I can't remember if it was a Crimson Salt or a Tompkins Driver. I'm pretty sure it's Tompkins Driver. Okay. What a match between Crimson Mask and El Halcon. Look at that. That's such a neat character right there. Okay. And finally, our main event. Admiral Amstel versus Remington XT. Let's see. Okay. There's Admiral Amstel, Remington XT. Red on the left, blue on the right. We've got a four and a one. Okay, that is Admiral Amstel's fast forward. He wins it, but he has to roll a one for DQ. Okay. And he gets a three. So the match can the match starts with paintbrush slaps. <laughs> and that is a pop. Okay, Remington XT needs to avoid a four here. <laughs> and he gets a four. Okay. Uh, he has to get a three or a five and another four. Wow, that is embarrassing for Remington XT. Admiral Amstel with paintbrush slaps. And that is the first move of the uh, match. I wonder if there was something nefarious going on with uh, that fast forward that, that got uh, Admiral Amstel a win quicker than, than, than usual. Uh, and I'm sure that will, something will come to fruition in the next card. Uh, I'm sure there was, there was some shenanigans going on, but, uh, there you have it, folks. That is card number four. Um, I'm probably going to have a pay-per-view event next. If not, I, I've got to think about that, whether or not we're going to have one after the fourth card or after the eighth card, uh, I'm not sure how to quite how to book that. If anybody has suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, thanks and good night.